such as that, but you sit on the couch and your eyes just roll around in your head. You just can't believe what you've heard. Anybody that has gotten that phone call about their relatives passing away suddenly, you have that feeling. And when I got the message that Michael Dunn had killed my son over loud music, folks, let me tell you something. I was born in Harlem, New York. Grew up in Queens. I got to get him. That was my first reaction. I, you know, I got a lot of faith-based people here. That's good. But I need all of them. He got to go. And so God has touched me throughout this whole situation for me not to choke the devil out of this man. Amen. Amen. And uh, I just want to say, yeah. But I want. I just want to say that. Just for you to make a decision to come out tonight means to me that you're all a soldiers in here. Amen. Give yourself a hand, every one of your soldiers in here. I don't mean that. You know, all the foolishness, you know, going to see the movies, going to, you know, party in the club and all that stuff. You know, people out there doing it, but you guys are in here. You know, you want to get some instruction. You want to get some education about what's going on and what can we do about it. And you have to make sure that you tell at least 20 people the same thing. Let them know about the film. Go to your churches. Go to your communities. Let them know about this film. Showing families standing strong for their loved ones. And what did Michael Dunn say? We are all the fathers. Well, Michael, Jordan's father is standing up right here. That's what his father is right here. I think from the very beginning, for Ron and I both, we had been um, watching what had been happening with Trayvon case. And we felt really so disheartened uh, by what had happened, or what we were watching right before our very eyes with the vilification of Trayvon Martin. Uh, he was demonized, and you never got a chance to see who he was as an individual. And the story of who he possibly was was told by the media. We even had discussions with Jordan about that very thing. You know, Ron and I each individually had you know, discussions with Jordan about what was happening with Trayvon's case. And so I think we decided very, very early on after the very same thing happened to our child is that we would tell our story. That no one would take from us our truth. No one would distort who Jordan nor the boys were are to this very day that this America does exist. 
and that not all minorities, as the media would have you believe, are gangbangers and thugs and rapists and murderers, that we are law-abiding citizens, we are people of great, great, deep and moral faith, we educate our children, we nurture them, we love them, just as anyone else does in this country. So we took control of our story because it matters. It matters.